Oh, hello, Scene CHD here. Welcome back to the Advanced AI Tournament. It has been requested that we should see a third place match, and I agree with that. So we now have here on the bottom right the third place match. That will be the Stealth General against the Super Weapon General. After that, we will see the finals between USA Vanilla against USA Air Force. All right, with that being said, we are going to see the third place on Tournament Island because I have the feeling that we are going to see some good matches on this map. They have expansions uh, on the other island and they seem to do more than on Tournament Desert, I have the feeling. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. If you want to try out the Advanced AI mod by yourself, there is a link in the description down below. And if you want to have the control bar pro, so this thing on the bottom right there, there's also a link in the description down below. I also have Gen Tool installed. This is here the clock on the top. If I make it huge now you can see it there on the top. That's the Gen Tool. Um, that thing right there. Makes a lot of things better. For example, you can um, do crazy stuff here with the camera and such. You can also uh, change the resolution in the options. I mean, you can also do that without Gen Tool, but with Gen Tool, it's much easier to do. So I highly advise to get Gen Tool as well. The link is also in the description down below. Stealth General here on the bottom left, going for many, many buildings as usual. Also the second barracks, I assume, for the capture building upgrade. USA Super Weapon going for the Wall of Defenses as per usual. Wow! Second expansion right away on the left. Uh, on the second island here. That is interesting. I would have expected it here. But drops it down there. Same with the Stealth General. Instant expansion here on the right. Rangers and Rebels meeting in the middle, capturing the um, reinforcement pad. The Rangers cannot see the Rebels because they are camouflaged. Will we see a fight? No. Both are capturing the building at the same time. Quad Cannon coming in, killing that Ranger. Same on the right side, so that means the Stealth General will get the reinforcement pad. The Stealth General gets a Quad Cannon from that. Power is down, but resumes right at the right moment. Just when that quad arrived. I also find it strange that they attack with just one quad. They used to attack with two quads in the normal version of Zero Hour. More defense is coming up, as usual. And also the oil grab is happening for both players. I like it that the Stealth General is actually going for both oils with two rebels. That is something I was uh, rumbling about in my previous videos. That they only go for one, like this special person did. But here they actually split one rebel per oil drag. That is great to see. And this rebel will go to the top left, this rebel will go to the bottom right. This is also great tactics here for a faster um, oil grab. We just saw a drop here, but the terrorist made quick work of that drop. Very nice to see that uh, terrorist there in action. Not very clever to drop a GLA because there's nothing to drop. Unless you drop rangers, which they don't. Terror technical coming in on the top will run into the EMP. Wow, just on the edge. Goes for the supply drop zone. Uh, not drop zone, but supply center. Um, but doesn't get it because the terrorists were a bit dumb. Only blows up the reactor. Was a bit uh, pointless right there. Rebel caught the uh, oil direct there. Not caught, but captured it. On the bottom right, no capture yet. I think the rebel was. Oh, okay, no, never mind. There he is. They thought he was killed. 
Manchi there in the middle. Two hijackers coming in. Manchi uh, destroying two rocket buggies. And wow, EMP Patriots again down. Hijackers could actually steal a dozer and drop down a reactor in the base. If they wanted to. Which they will, I think. That's a free dozer. Uh oh. And yep, goes for the dozer. Um, but loses the dozer. Didn't drop down the scaffold, I assume. No, they don't do that crazy stuff. An expert player would have thrown down a scaffold immediately, but the AI actually needs to drive the dozer back to home to build that power scaffold. But if they would have actually succeeded with that, that would have been insanely good. Okay, so far the stealth general seems to have the money advantage. Is almost sitting on six oil directs. Is now losing one of his oils there to the USA. There's no ranger or rebel, I mean, uh, to stop that. Also here the rebel is just running through, camouflaged, will capture the two oils down the back. And I think he will actually succeed, never mind. Ah, uh, why didn't he just run through? He could have captured these. <laughs> yeah, that's also a funny bug. The rock bug is shoot on the reinforcement pad, but it cannot reach it for some weird reason. They don't do damage to that thing. Drop incoming, that's a tomahawk for the super weapon. Tomahawk right there. Voila. Group of hijackers, but then still. Wow, holy wall of EMP Patriots. Spectre gun shit coming in, doing absolutely nothing. Finally, some quad cannons. Now, if they would shoot at the Comanche. There we go. Warning. A GPS scrambler has been activated. You see, the snow will be wasted because there's a lot of defenses there in the base. Hell is almost destroyed. Needs some quick repair. Some city going on at the top again. And super weapon caught these. Uh, 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 captured, I mean. Captured these two Alderix. Great job. They're just bugging out at her. <laughs> that looks so stupid. Finally. A camouflage terrorist. Now oh, that's something. Get the dozer. Whoa, that worker flew out of the map. Yeah, Rebels going for all these missile defenders, great. They will get them all. Ooh, even some rebel bikes. Oh, okay, never mind. Technicals driving into their... Wow, dodged all of these three Auroras. What a dodge. Now the fact about these terrorists is that they will actually do the damage. Unless the Comanche stops them, of course. If the Comanche wasn't there, Warning. they would... A okay, particle no, cannon they have the snipers. Detected. But the snipers, they would do all the damage here on these defenses. Yeah. Just all the way explosion. Because we need more explosions. 35,000 for the GLA. Now that is some serious banking right there. And 9k for the super weapon. Now he has all the cash. But is he spamming it? He's building a, super, uh, a scut storm. He's adding in a third arm stealer. So far the defenses are holding the Auroras back, but for how long, General? How long? Another expansion coming up for the Super Weapon General, I like that. Like the gun shit coming in, doing absolutely nothing. 
killing a few troops, that's about it. Oh, the defenses are slowly falling apart. He needs more defenses. A GPS scrambler has been I mean, he has the money for that. Losing another oil direct there. He really needs to recapture these. Colonel Burton coming. Shaking hands with the two high checkers. That's one army filled up of snipers. Uh, will Colonel Burton actually do something there? Or is he just running to his death? Yeah, he's run just running to his death. Didn't even have the chance to shoot. Oh, wow, snipers just instantly sniped the German Kelder. That's a Moab. Didn't do so much. Now that A10 did way more than the Moab, I think. Getting that battle bus, nicely done. Warning, a particle cannon has been detected. That was a nice dodge on the Aurora Alpha. For a second I thought that angry mob is running into the Humvee. Wow, that one angry mob is just... I thought she's just destroying all the four Tomahawks. <laughs> that would have been so funny. Four particle cannons. Stealth General doesn't really have a lot to answer against all these Tomahawks and Aurora Alphas. That's just a lot of Aurora Alphas. Warning, a scud storm has been detected. Yeah, there's a scud storm. BLA on 20k. Super weapon on 30k. GLA recapturing the Alderex down the top left. That's great to see. Angry mobs flying around. Ooh, hijacked the Tomahawk, but instantly got, wow, launched to the moon. That palace is toast. Warning, a particle cannon has been activated. Yeah, she says that and the particle cannon doesn't activate, that's so funny. Uh, now there it comes. Only getting a few troops, but that's about it. That was not a good party. Warning. A GPS scrambler has been activated. Capturing the second oil, that's great. Getting all the money. Oh, another high check. On the Avenger! Wow! That's pretty neat. If he uses that thing correctly, which he doesn't. Ooh, goodbye, Harry Checker. And not looking that great for the stealth general. I mean, he's still sitting on 10k. He's not out completely, but the super weapon general is just completely overwhelming. Not much a self general can do. Warning. A particle cannon has been activated. Particle cannon, because why not? Yeah, it's just complete dominance. Oof. Base is just crowded. Have a party who can. Lots and lots of units. Just one scud storm. It would be such a perfect hit here with a scud storm. Here it's raining soldiers. The problem now is that the super weapon general can only see the units. She can't see the buildings. That demo trap just killed his own troop. 
Yeah, she can see the scaffold. But that's about it. She can only see the units now. A 10 on the black market. A particle cannon has been activated. That's a nice particle can, getting both arm sealers. That was a great particle. And there goes the command center. GLA sitting there with 11k, can't do anything. <laughs> what? Since when is that happening? Super Weapon General just dropping down a war factory next to the GLA base. Now that's some advanced stuff right there. Oh, just saw a hijacked dozer. He wanted to go for the reactor. But for that he needed to go back to the base, which he was not able to do so. But yeah, Stealth General almost got power there. Warning, a particle cannon has been detected. Five particle cannons and the Scudstorm ready to shoot in a bit. Oof. That's a clear win for the Super Weapon General. Warning. A particle cannon has been activated. Yeah, there goes the black market. Now that scud storm will be a great shot. Warning, a scud storm has been launched. That's Moab. Totally wasted of a Moab. Hopefully right there, that will be insane. Let's look at the cash, 10k. Ouch. <laughs> That was a great shot. 3.5k just through that. But yeah, um, Stealth General Space completely wiped out. Just that Scudstorm remaining and the Supply Stash. Thing is, Super Weapon General doesn't know where that is, so a particle cannon has been activated. She needs to stay around here, wait for something to detect it, otherwise she can't attack that thing. Yeah, she's driving back because she doesn't know that thing is there. Just stands around here, does nothing until a particle can reveals the building. Oh, that poor worker. Okay, looks like the supply stash has been revealed. Yeah, troops are now firing on that supply stash. That thing will be gone now. Yeah, there comes the Auroras. And now we have a waiting game for the Scudstorm. Which I don't think will be sold. A10 will reveal the Scudstorm now, however. That should lure in all troops. But goes back to stealth mode and yeah, the units are completely out of target here. Yeah. A particle cannon has been activated. What yeah? Kill your own burden with the <laughs> Why? Oh man. Yeah. That what that, have been defeated. that doesn't need a rematch. That absolutely does not need a rematch. Now the thing is. Super Weapon General is so strong, I actually wonder if she would be able to beat two Stealth Generals. That would be something to find out. Not in this video though, because that would take like one hour, but still, that would be interesting. One Super Weapon versus two Stealth, I think Super Weapon would, would beat the Stealth.
Also with Air Force. I think Air Force would be like five stealths. I think I will try that out. That sounds like an interesting idea. Yeah, I think I will do that. That sounds like a really cool idea. Anyway, this has been your CNC HD. That was the third place match. This will put Super Weapon General as the winner for the third place. Uh, 1 0. You guys suggested a best of 5. So, first with 3 wins, wins. But I don't think we need to see uh, more than just more than one game. I think that is clear uh, who's going to be the winner. Okay, that concludes the third match. Next one is the finals. And we see us in the next video. Goodbye.